right, so now we're ready to code. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to have a place in memory, so we're going to use var for that. Um, and where are we going to get the var from? Well, it's going to be all the places that are to the left of an equal sign and all our input. So you can see I'm going to use size. And comma, whoops, comma space, shape, comma space, delivery, comma space, and then down here I have, um, again, left this equal sign, I have square inches, copy paste, comma, space, uh, price per inch, copy, and put it in, comma, space. Okay, we already put these two in, so the next one is pi price, copy, and paste. And since I am running out of room, I'm going to go ahead and end this line, start another line, put in var, Oops. And then I'm going to use delivery cost. And total price. And we're done. Okay, output doesn't give us any places in memory. And there. Okay, so th then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my constants. Uh, and these are them right here. Okay, I didn't use these three because I'm gonna not only I'm gonna declare them in memory and put in the numbers at the same time. So I'm gonna copy these and paste it in. And then all I have to do is copy the var and paste it in three times. The more you copy and paste, as I mentioned, the less errors you're going to make. Okay. Now, we have a problem in that uh, what happens down here is that the delivery price goes in, right? And delivery price is going to be $5. Delivery price right there. But we have a delivery cost up here, and unlike in the flowchart, uh, it doesn't automatically come with a zero. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to copy this, and actually I'm going to cut it, Control X come down here, paste it in, and put a zero in. And that's my zero that's going to start in there. And then I'm going to use var, and I'm going to get rid of this, so this is just going to be total price. Alright, so do we understand that? <coughs> if it's not going, if I'm not going to put the five dollars in delivery cost, then something has got to be in there. And so I'm going to put a zero in there and then let it change it to the five if there's a delivery. If you leave it blank and there was a person said, um, no, I don't want it delivered, we'd end it with an NAN error. And it would look like this, NAN, um, when we output. That means not a number. That means it tried to do the math down here, uh, pri uh, pipe price plus delivery cost. But if we didn't put the five in there, and then we didn't put the zero in there like we did there, there would be nothing in delivery cost, which means it's null. And it's a, when we went to go ahead and put something into total price, it would say, oh, you want me to add pipe price to, oh, nothing. Well, nothing is not a zero, and then it would give you an NAN, and then down here would be an NAN. So when you see NAN, remember that means that you have done a some, some math with nothing at all. All right, so what's the next thing I have to do is I have my input here. All right, so I have uh, size, shape, and delivery. So we'll do size first. Oops. Oh. All right, so, I, so now I'm going to comment this and say uh, this is my input. I have a place of memory called size. I'm going to assign to that what's returned from my prompt when I ask the question. And this is where you can go into your flowchart if you want and say, okay, well, I already got that, so I'm going to copy that and paste it in. That's my question. 
Uh, I also have a default. Oops, watch out! Be careful! You don't have two quotes here. Um, then my default value. Um, there's really nothing I can put in there that um, would help anybody, so I'm just going to put two quotes and then end it. All right. The next thing I have is shape. Again, I copy that in. And then I go ahead and copy this. Now, when you want to copy this stuff here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy through there. I'm going to select it, hold down the control key, and then hold down my left mouse button and just drag this down, and that makes a copy of it. So control key, drag. Uh, the question I need is going to be on my flow chart. Make sure I got everything. I'm going to copy that. And again, you might say, well, that was a lot of extra work. But uh, anytime you copy and paste, you're going to save yourself. Now, what I'm going to do is for a default value here, I'm going to start with square. And, and then they can change it to round if they want. Uh, or they can just keep it the way it is. And then delivery. Well, we don't we don't type. Okay, my next input is delivery. So I copy that. I paste it in. I assign to that place in memory. What's returned from my prompt, and I'll go ahead and drag that down. And then the question I'll get from my flowchart. So the only thing I usually get from my flowchart is um, my prompts and my output, because the this is the same as the problem statements. It's easier to get it from there, but I don't have questions there. So is, I'm going to ask it yes or no, and my default value is going to be no. All right, now we're ready for our calculations. This is going to be pretty easy because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of this and I'm going to paste it in. And then I'm going to JavaScriptize it. All right, if we're doing a decision, it must have a parenthesis around it. The other thing is we can't use one equal sign because that means a sign to two equal signs means equal. All right, this one here, I just need a um, semicolon at the end, semicolon at the end. Now, the other thing I need to do is I need to let it know that if it's true, I'm going to do two things here. And it needs to know where it starts and stops. So after this, I'm going to press Enter. And I'm going to put in a start brace, which is Shift and the key after P. And then this is where my if ends. So I'm going to put a shift two keys to the right of P. And then I'm going to do the same thing for else. Okay, for else, I need a semicolon here, a semicolon here. I need to use braces to tell it where to start right there. And again, these aren't parentheses. These are shift two keys, the key or two keys to the right of P. There you go. And now it knows where to start and stop. Okay, then I'm going to put a semicolon here and keep moving down. Okay, I do the same thing with delivery. I have to uh, JavaScriptize it. So I'm going to put a parenthesis around the decision. I'm going to change one equal sign into two. I'm going to put a brace that says I'm starting my if, a semicolon at the end of the line. And it seems like a lot to remember, but as you go through, the more you do it, the uh, more you'll just, it's just natural uh, to do it that way. Okay, for the math for the square inches, it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, for the square inches, what we're going to do is pi is a function, and actually we can leave it at 3.142. I'm going to leave it that way. Heck with it. But when we do this math here, it's going to be capital M math dot pow, and then the parentheses, and then size square, and instead of this umflats, it's going to be a comma. All right, and then we have to end that parentheses that we started.
So we have a parenthesis, and then inside the parenthesis, we want to do this first half of size, and then we want to do it by a power, and the power is going to be 2. So it's going to be a little bit different than the other. I showed it in an example, I have a, a function for pi, uh, which is math.pi, but I'll leave 3.142. That's kind of, we don't have to go out 18,000 places uh, for that. All right, so now we have our second decision done. And total price. Um, now the next thing we're going to do is, uh, after this decision, uh, the pi price could actually be uh, 14 places. So it could be, uh, you know, the pi price could be ten ten dollars and point six five eight nine three four. Then we don't want to, We don't can't have fractions of a penny. So what I'm going to say is, I have a place in memory. Oh, if we could, and we forgot that last calculation. So let's go back. Okay, and. Where's my pie price here? <coughs> oh, I forgot that. Okay, so okay, that's there. All right, so I've got to add that in. Okay, so after we figure delivery price, then we're going to put the pie price in. And after it does that math, we're going to end up with fractions. So I'm going to, this is disconcerting, uh, then I'm going to do one more piece of math, and that is going to be convert to, to decimal places. And that is, I have a place in memory called pi price. And I want to assign to that what's returned when I take pi price and I do two fixed two. Okay, that means that I'm going to make it, I'm going to fix it so that it's only two decimal places. And that's what's going to go into here. All right, so then I can do this math. And the last thing I'm going to do is my document write. Dot write. And in there, I'm going to go back to my flowchart and copy and paste the output I did there. Because that's in JavaScript format. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste it in right here. And then end the parentheses semicolon. So I copy and paste from my flowchart because I know that well this worked in my flowchart. Why introduce an error? Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to run it and see if it works. And we may have a problem. Pi price. Pi price is right there. Okay, so that works. Total price is right there. Okay, let's run it and see. Okay, it asks us how many inches, and we say 10. It asks us if we want square, and I'll say OK. And do you want delivered, and I'm going to stick with no. And it says I have an error. I misspelled document. So I did that on purpose just so you can see. <laughs> All right, so I have to go back to my editor, and I misspelled document. So let's make that correct. See, anytime you type, that's why I did it. Anytime you type little characters, you can have an error. All right, so let's preview it again. I got 10 inches. It's going to be square. I do not want delivery. The price is $20. Okay, that's not right. I don't know where the extra zero is coming from. Ah. <sighs> Let's preview it again. 
Let's do 10 inches. Let's do square. Let's say yes. And now it's 25. Okay, the problem is it's joining that 5. And why is it joining the 5? It's putting, it's saying taking pi price and it's adding whatever uh, to the end of that. And I'm not so sure why, but one way we can fix it is say, well, pi price equals parse int pi price. Because the answer to all our problems is parse int. Let's see if that's the answer to this problem. All right, I shall run it. Oh, that makes sense, I guess, because it came in as text. Okay, so how many inches? 10 inches. Okay, it is square. And we say no, and now it's $20. Okay, then we come back. How many inches? It's 10 inches. It is square. And it is yes. $25. Excellent. <coughs> now let's change this to parse float and see how that changes things. Alright, so now I'm going to run it again. And I have 10 inches. It is square. And it is no. Oh, that didn't change anything. All right. Well, we're going to continue this done because now it's been 16 minutes. Uh, and you can see that we've had some problems and we fixed those along the way. But this is our final solution. And we are done.